Um, she play Tristana, bro. No one here wants to watch Tristana, okay? What should I play though? Ari game. Guys, it's like I play Ari all the time. Ain't no way I'm picking Ari again. Fixing the world. I guess we're doing some action. Action into a Nocturne and Pike. I'm asking for to die a lot. Beautiful! That also brings my magical footwear to spike earlier. This is the phantasm trick. You make the minion slow and then you E on the Rihanna. I make Nocturne is, I think, clearing. I think he's clearing uh, top to bot. Beautiful. He's so low. I need my E up and then I'm kinda immune to Nocturne gank. Can I dive her? Uh, I don't know how to do the perfect E angle there to dive. Nocturne is bot but he didn't even do full clear. Hmm. I think I'm looking for a cheese strategy here. Okay. That's pretty good for me. I got what I wanted. Let's get that pickaxe going. And refillable. I watched some Phantasm uh, auction bots. Maybe I'm not as bad on the champ anymore. Famous last words. We'll definitely freeze here. Her wave is in a very bad spot. <laughs> wow. The only problem is I don't know how to do that trick that he knows how to do where you stuck yourself in middle of lane and you clear the wave. There's an auction trick you can do. Okay, good start to the game. There's only one problem to chat. I kind of want the Dirk, so I think I'm selling my refillable. Dirk is very important. I'm three minutes away from my boot spike. Really, really, really want boots on auction. Champion feels so slow without it. Okay, no Rihanna shockwave. I also want my BF sword base so I can one shot the caster creeps on level 9, right? This is how uh, Phantasm likes to build them. So maybe I just push this and reset. There we go. So here I think. Basically, don't finish Collector, but instead just buy a B of Sword, because that gives you enough AD for your Q to kill minions at level 9, and that gives you insane push power. Why does your move speed change every time you AA? It's because Auction Passive gives you move speed when you're attacking. When you do a singular attack instead of double attack. Wait for this next wave, and then we Q it, and we start one-shotting it. It's not gonna completely one-shot the wave, but just look at that push power. One of the best in the game. And now it's time to roam. Maybe I can ult something. I didn't even know he feared me because of the skin of Nocturne.
<laughs> okay. Nice. Action feels so good to play in this like type of moments where you can pop off. That is a good feeling. Collector? Like maybe I should have just done infinity, honestly. I had the money for it. But collector is fine as well. So you can see now level 9. My Q. One shots range minions. Can we dive him? Nice. Beautiful. I'm gonna stay bot now. I could tip it up and finish the Nar as well. But is it worth it is the question. I'm tipping. Gonna go for the kill here. Never mind, I'm not going for the kill. I'm eating! Ah, uh, oops. That was too much. Damn, the Zeke saw the counter TP so fast, man. He was actually so aware of it. Makes me feel like he's just listening to me when I'm talking on stream. Okay, that was in though. I griefed it. Oopsie. I should have just back. Like, after Zeke's counter TPs, I can't go for the kill anymore. I gave a huge shutdown, actually, to Nar. Pretty big shutdown. What is going on here on Midland Department? You see how easy it is to get those little chunks off. It's so low, but I can't ult him because the tower is gonna block. I'm gonna go bot instead. Someone is tipping, I think it's the Gnar. We have to back, we have to back. We have to back. Too many people. Way too many people. Blue buff is about to disappear in 5 seconds. This is my timer to get it before it's too late. Now I can get the plant. Then I have to really run bot lane. The problem is like... I don't think I can finish this, guys. No... Am I eating the wrong way? Maybe my E was bad there? I wanted to get the kill so then my E resets. I don't know, I don't know if I can even kill them there. I think maybe I just can't actually. This is the thing, I'm a noob auction. Why wait for tower to go down? Because I wanted to wait for Nar to lose his Mega Nar. Because then he's a lot squishier and can stun me and stuff. That is kind of the thought process there. But we're gonna get Drake, this is our third Drake. We're getting closer and closer to Soul. I got Infinity also in base, huge buy. Probably gonna go wrap it after. I want moose pit. I don't know if I can beat Nocturne. Guess we're gonna find out if he does ult me. I don't think he's ulting me. Okay, we're gonna base get LDR, I mean Infinity, and then get another crit cloak. And then maybe I go mid and I look for a pick mid lane. Uh, waiting for someone to walk up mid lane. No shot! <laughs> after I failed that... After I failed that E and got myself into the tower and then... That was funny. True auction experience right there. Wonder who's gonna be bought. Is it gonna be Nar? He has Tarak. 
There is no world where I kill him, guys. Like, legit, the world where I kill that guy doesn't exist. Oh, that is satisfying. Now that is satisfying. That's what I, that's the most satisfying moment of action. Revive complete, baby. Holy moly, our smolder is... Kill the tower! No, it killed... Uh... Poor Orianna. Poor Orianna. She came back and died immediately right after. Yeah, my ult refreshed. I don't know why. It fired the shots, but then it also refreshed. I think that's kind of buggy. It did not fire. I swear it fired. You can check the vault. Before I kill the wave, I have to make sure the minions kill the cannon. So they lose that minion. That's very important. It's by far the most worthy minion. Rapid fire cannon, more crit. I could have just done Swifties, honestly, instead of buying this Cloak of Agility, but 90% crit chance is just mega satisfying. Where is Oriana? Not again. No! Yes! I love how I'm dashing away from the tower shot. Because I don't want to take it. Okay, I'm buying Swiftis now. I want to be faster. It's like... The move speed of this champion is making me sad. Let's get the soul. Nice. I don't deal the best damage into Dragon though. My Dragon damage is... Pretty bad actually, I feel like. I don't know why. Why does my champion do so little damage to Dragon? Well, how do I kill her? What? I eat the wrong way. She thought she would get away with it, but she will not get away with it. I should honestly spend more time learning this champion. For some reason, I don't dislike him anymore. Like, he's actually fun now. Didn't really find fun with him in the past, but now I actually kind of do. Like, th that E ability is so satisfying to use. If you get like a huge, a whole E onto the enemy, you just like machine gun them. It's so satisfying. That was a bad day. Oh my god, this Nar is so tanky. He bought Warden Mail and I stopped doing damage. I guess that's why you need LDR on this champion. If they buy armor, you do no damage if you don't have LDR. I think auction pass is OP. I mean, it's. A, I think it's a very like game-changing pass because it's either like... It just feels like it can have insane value or it can be completely irrelevant. It's a weird pass you. Most damage! Probably one of my best action games so far. Not too shabby.